I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chaz at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto. I'm here with David Shapiro and Connor McCourt. How does it feel to have your film Missing People screening at Hot Docs? It's fantastically exciting. It's a wonderful, brilliant festival. The audiences are incredible. They really support documentaries. They're hungry for them. And this festival feeds them three or four times a day in amazing ways. I'm honored to be part of it. Yeah, it's really great. And uh, as uh, I'm married to a Toronto girl, so I'm very happy. Woohoo! We're, <laughs> We're here to support. So, yeah, it's great. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Um, and tell me a little bit about how the two of you met and started working together as the director of the film and the private investigator uh, in the film. Well, it's really fun because we know each other since high school. And we went different ways that we have common denominators. Connor became a policeman, and but he also made documentary films, and we know each other in that way. And when this film came about, and when Martina was looking for a private investigator, I said, I know one who might really fit the bill. And so I said, here, try Connor, give him a call. Yeah, so when Martina called me, uh, it was about, uh, her, her brother had been murdered in 1978. It was a cold case. It had never really been solved. I, I was just out of the police department uh, for about a year uh, when I got the call, and I was able to um, get access inside the uh, NYPD's uh, kind of archives and go back to 1978. And also, uh, we grew up together. Uh, in, in 1978, we're the same age as the, um, the boy who was murdered, Martina's brother, Jeff. And so as I, I was able to also walk in his shoes and go back emotionally and uh, actually uh, into the old neighborhood and really, uh, you know, just go and do the best job that I could do for Martina. You know, okay. she deserved it. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, working with Martina, you know, this insomnia and suffering from the, from the death of her brother and, you know, what made her such a, a perfect subject for your film? Well, I wouldn't say she's perfect because sometimes she started shooting at midnight. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm kind of a night person myself. Some of the crew, on the other hand, weren't so into that. But um, she is a very compelling, intelligent, forceful woman who is very smart and very formidable. And I don't think she does anything that she doesn't want to do. I think she's a real feminist. She decided at a certain point, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of my middle class neighborhood. I'm going to go to art school in Manhattan. I'm going to just become a director of an art gallery. Not a lot of women were doing that at the time. Mm -hmm. I, I think she's a really compelling person. And she was a difficult person to um, get information from at first mm -hmm. until we became friends. The flip side of a film like this is it takes years to make. Mm -hmm. So by the end, I think we were really pretty close. And I think she trusted me. And I feel very privileged and, you know, empowered by that to try and tell her story in a real, real way without, you know, like her, warts and all. Yeah. And Connor, as a private investigator, uh, you've also made films in the past as a, a documentary filmmaker. But can you tell me a little bit about how these, you know, being a, a PI and, uh, you know, filmmaker and involved in in this film as well, how those all fit together so nicely. Right, it's about it's about getting to the bottom of uh, of a story, really, and um, and I wanted to give uh, Martina the information if uh, so that she could resolve maybe some of her issues. And like David was saying, she's a very smart person, so she knew when she could handle it and maybe when she needed uh, me to back off. But during that that time period of uh, over a couple of years, I was always out there investigating, investigating, and gathering as much as I could. And then when she was ready, when I could find her, because <laughs> she she would go underground as well. Uh, but when I did find her, I was able to impart all the information that I could find. But there was a lot of missing documents as well as missing people. So, <laughs> yeah. and the film sort of stays uh, ahead of the audience. It it keeps you guessing. Tell me a little bit about the process creating that kind of structure. It was really tricky, and I'm, I'm not going to pretend like it was easy. <laughs> it took years, and it almost took two years to edit until I found that I had the right um, narrative 
and to like you said i tried really hard to keep it ahead of the of the viewer and unexpected things keep happening because i think that's what life is like it just things come out of left field all the time and remarkable things sometimes they're silly and stupid like you're late for work sometimes you know you have a stroke and so um, I wanted to structure the film in a way that there's these two stories and two investigations. What do they have to do with each other? Mm -hmm. And the more you learn, the sort of more you don't know until at the end, perhaps they come together. And there's tremendous symmetry. And I think, like the Toronto audience, people are sophisticated. I trust you. I Thank trust you. you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think, I, think, I, think you're, I think they'll figure out what they need to figure out and what they don't. Sometimes mysteries are compelling. Absolutely. And I have to ask, what does Martina think of the film? Um, well, I know that um, because of uh, her situation right now, it's hard for her to process. Um, but um, she was always supportive of uh, the process. And she knew when, like I said before, when we, uh, as an investigator, when I was giving her information, when she was ready to receive that information. And also, when she was ready to be involved with David, she was uh, very forthright about it. So uh, I think she's uh, uh, supportive of it, and she wanted to go through the process. And I, and I think it, it did, on some levels, give her uh, some great resolution. But at the end of the day, it's funny how life is. is it's not exactly what you expected. What you ask for is sometimes you know, not what you get. You know? so, uh, it, it, it's that's uh, like Dave said, you know, life is funny sometimes, you know, sometimes you're late for work and sometimes something else happens. So absolutely. and where's the best place for us to find out more information on each of you and the film online? The film has a website, missingpeoplefilm.com. And uh, it has inf links to both me and uh, my past films, Keep the River on Your Right and Finishing Heaven and uh, a link to Connor as well. Right, and I'm uh, mccourtvideo.com, so if uh, I'll be out there for all your investigative needs. <laughs> well, thank you so much, and congratulations. Thanks so much. Thank Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you so much. You. Yeah. I'm Katie Allman, reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. <laughs>